I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some questions from the previous test papers. Determine x intercepts of y equals to f of 2 minus x, where f of x equals to x times x plus 2 times x minus 3. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. Now to answer such questions, we should look into the transformation of the function y equals to f of 2 minus x. So let's look into that. So we have y equals to f of 2 minus x. It is better to rearrange. So when you rearrange, you can write this as minus x plus 2. And then let's factor the coefficient of x, which is negative, And then you get within bracket minus x minus 2. I have shown you these steps since many times in the test paper I have seen students making mistake of considering plus 2 as translation 2 units left. As you can clearly see it actually is a translation 2 units right after a reflection on y axis. Correct. So with this transformation the points, let's say x, y, will actually get transformed and x values will be negative of x and plus 2, y values will remain same. Now this transformation clearly indicates that the x-intercepts on the function remains x-intercepts on the transformed function given to us, y equals to f of 2 minus x, however, their position changes. So therefore, we will now find the x-intercepts on the function f of x. So let's find x-intercepts on f of x. Now f of x is given to us as equal to x times x plus 2 times x minus 3. So clearly there are three x intercepts. So in this case x intercepts are at x equals to 0, y equals to 0. This one is at minus 2, 0 and the third one is at 3, 0. So these are the three x intercepts on f of x. Applying the transformations, now let us apply transformations, right? So apply transformation to find x-intercepts on y. So when you do that, what do you get? See, x values become negative of x plus 2, y coordinates remain the same, right? So now transformed x-intercepts are 0, 0 gets transformed to minus 0 plus 2, 0. That is, let's say minus 0 plus 2. Y remains same. The other one will be minus of minus 2 is plus. So it will be 2 plus 2, 0. And for the third one, it becomes minus 3 plus 2, 0. And that is to say, they will be 2, 0. 2 plus 2 is 4, 0, and minus 3, 2 is minus 1, 0. And therefore, our answer is the x-intercepts are at x equals to 2, 4, and minus 1, right? So that is how you can solve such a question. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and share my videos to learn more. Thank you.